What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, you know, I, I really want to have a, a somewhat of a serious conversation about a stream that I did on my other channel. Now, people don't really know this about me, but I do have a Pan-African channel that's really entertaining, that's really informative. It's called Ken Ganda, okay? Give a round of applause for the Ken Ganda YouTube channel. And for many of you that have watched this channel, um, you know I have like a Pan-African dating show over there. It's pretty funny. And we have almost 33,000 subscribers over there with a whole different audience and a whole different team. And um, I deal in the Pan-African community on that channel exclusively. And one of my good personal friends, um, that I love so much is the African Superstar channel, uh, now known as African Superstar Black. You can go and check out her video. And the name of the, the, the video that we were talking about here is called, Are African American Women Moving to Ghana and Spending All Their Money on Younger Ghanaian Men? Now, we talked about the fact that she um, is an American. In fact, she holds both US and British citizenship. She was talking about how a lot of women are from, coming from the West and, you know, they have some kind of you know business in the States. They have some sort of income coming in and they're dealing with men on average that don't make as much money. And so what you find is um, a lot of times these women who are partnering up with the younger men many times, uh, you know, if they're really if they can get it, guys who are like muscular in shape. And, you know, the women that are, are are being more fiscally responsible for that man because he most likely doesn't have as much money as, as she does. OK, which is not much different from what's happening in the States. And I, I, I really wish you guys uh, would go check that video out. If you have subscribed to Ken Gonda, do me a favor and press one in the uh, comment section so I can know and, and check that channel out and hit the bell when you do it, because I have a lot of good information coming out over there. But we've been talking about modern women, and I want to keep on task with the interview I did with African Superstar. Because modern women, and shout out to Kevin Samuels for this terminology, they are progressive with regards to corporate or entrepreneurship or being more monetarily autonomous, which is something that I don't have a problem with. Many black men don't have a problem with that, okay? I did another video yesterday that talked about how a lot of black women wanted men who are traditional providers, although they're modern women. But let's take it a step further. What about the women in the black community that earn more than the men that they are dating? Okay. Because of their success, they waited a longer time to get married. They waited a longer time to do things. And we all know that if a woman takes the same path as a man and trying to earn, she's going to be getting there around the 30s, 32, 33, 34. Now, the difference is like me, I started making uh, you know pretty good money when I was 36. Kevin Samuel started making pretty good money at 51. At our age, it's fine. Nobody would argue that Kevin Samuels will have any problem getting somebody at 51. You know, at 39, almost 40, alpha male strategy is 41, okay? So no, none of us will be complaining about we have a hard time getting anybody. Women, however, are going to have a hard time attaining the same kind of men because they are now financially ready uh, in their lives. Now they want to settle down. But the guys that they can settle down with are looking at women in the 20s. You know, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 40. Uh, there's no way in hell I'm going to date someone in their 35. Usually even 30 is a close call. That's about the, 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 the length of it. I would go. Most of us are looking for a woman that's in her, you know, hey, can you have some kids, right? 24, 25, something like that. Okay, these women that are dating these guys that make less than them, those guys look what they want to look like, but they don't have any money. Here's the biggest problem. We all know that those women are not going to respect those men. They don't want to say it, but I'll say it. You know, they could drive those guys, guys to drive their car. They can love them. They can do everything that they want. They're not going to respect those men no matter how much money a woman has genetically in her nature 
she wants to be with a man that is making more than her because it, it, it goes to show how worth she is of, of a woman in relationships. What a woman makes financially is not really dictated, or it doesn't really dictate her, her real worth, okay? In relationship status to society, a woman who has a man that is more high earning is still conventionally a woman that's more respected, okay? This is why when women brag about being married, they're not bragging about a guy that makes less than them. It makes them feel like no man who was worth his salt more so than you were makes more than you. Now I can see if the guy starts off making less, but he makes more, then it's okay. But if you're the guy, the woman, and it's for, sh for sure you're the breadwinner, you're gonna have a problem, okay? And this is, this is what we're talking about today. And a lot of guys that get in situations are gonna have problems. And I wanna talk about this comment that was done on my Kingana channel by a brother named Brother Jesse. I'm gonna read this real quick, okay? Give me some dating music. Let's be real. And he's talking about women dating men that have less money. I've seen it firsthand in Ghana with my own eyes. African-American women and other West women, 40 and 40 through age, 40 through 60, marrying poor men in their 20s and 30s. These women are dating in reverse. They're providing the money for more younger and shape attractive broke men. This is normally done the other way around. I have zero issues with these women are doing. Get your happiness how you can. Understand that due to size and growth of the economy and currency exchange, the classes are different. I know college graduates in Ghana and professional jobs like teaching accounting and other professions making only 100 to 500 bucks a month. So if someone comes from the U.S. can make 500 to 500 minimum in most places in the United States, they're considered poor, but are considered middle class in the country on Ghana's scale or lower. You make 2000 to 4000 dollars and you can live in that rich uh, uh, country. You can live with the rich of that country. Like literally living next door to politicians and the top business people in that country. But here's also the 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 thing we'll talk about right now. If those men ever decided or ever got into a position that they made a lot of money. So that guy who makes five dollars a month, he now becomes a millionaire. Would he still date those chicks? She's gone, she's done. As long as that guy is broke, you can have him. Once that guy has money as options, you're out. And you're gonna see who he really likes. Don't believe me? Look at Jesse Williams. Jesse Williams was with his wife for you know a few years. He tried to fake it till he could make it, until he couldn't stand it anymore. And now he left her. He was with a, he's with a super hot chick now. You know? I think for guys, man, you need to really understand. If you're dating women, usually, that make more money than you in the black community, they're gonna let you know. Okay, they're gonna let you know. And a lot of times it's not gonna be pretty. You know, you, you can expect to have some level of animosity that you're not on that level. You can be on that level in the bedroom. You can be in that level when you're, you know, looking good and sexy for her. But when it comes home that you're not bringing that paper home, not as much as she is, she gonna have a problem with that. Okay, that's the issue. I think a lot of guys need to understand that. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell, check out the first comment pinned to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains the all-time high. I am out.